Hey everyone, welcome back to Missy's Enchanted channel. Uh, quick reminder, if you want to get notified, you have to hit that bell. So yeah, it's right next to the subscribe button, I think. It's above the, the subscribe button, I think. So yeah. Well, I'm going to be doing a weekly reading today. It's going to be from May 3rd to May 10th. And let's get started. Hopefully we have a good week this week. So I'm just going to pick some random cards. These are so big to shuffle. They're so hard. Alrighty. Pick a couple more and see what happens. Ah, these want to come out. So, one more shuffle and that's it. All right, there we go. Let's put these aside and see what happens. All righty. All right, let's fix these a little bit better. Let's move this over here for a little bit. I'm going to be picking charms after too. All right, so, so far I see the Ten of Ear. The end of a difficult situation, embrace the change and expect things to get better now. Recovering from an addiction. So this is definitely true. So who knows, maybe we're going to be, or maybe we did go through some, through something and this week we're going to be recovering from it which is always good alrighty justice fair and just decisions do what you know is right stand up for your beliefs so we're standing up for our beliefs this week as well so always stand up for what you believe in for our water to me that's for our cups and it's actually missing an opportunity, discontentment or boredom. Open your eyes to the possibilities. So yeah, gotta love that, right? A lot of possibilities in front of us, just picking which one that we want, you know? Five of ear is usually five of, I believe five of swords. An unwise choice, learn what you can from the situation, review everyone's motives. To me, it's conflict. So just watch out this week, a little bit of conflict. The lovers, and you know, that's, you know, intimate relationships, carefully weigh your decisions, and good health. Ooh, that's always good. You definitely need good health to get... In order to do things, we need the good health where we can, you know, have energy to do what we want to and, you know, and it's always good to have, uh, oh God, I can't think today, guys. <laughs> wow. I just lost what I was going to say. It just like went right over me, Whew, right over. It's always good to be in physical, you know, good physical health and mental health as well. That's what I wanted to say. All right. Seven of Earth is Seven of Pentacles, and that's planting seeds for the future. So setting things in motion for you can get things done for the future. Making a plan. That's always good. Nine of Earth, Nine of Pentacles. Enjoying life's little luxuries. Spending quiet time alone, successful self-employment. That's always definitely good. To me, it's someone who is very self-efficient, who doesn't have to do anything or doesn't have to rely on anyone. She can rely on herself when she needs to. So that's always good. Or him. King of Earth. King of Pentacles. And this person to me is going to be very practical this week when it comes to money. And this says, a successful time, confidently accept opportunities you're offered, the Midas touch. So that's always good. So, so far, I don't see anything bad this week. It's all good things. So yeah, all good things. 
All right, let's break out the charms and see what happens. Let's see what the charms have to tell us today. Alrighty. All right, let's see what we have for letters. We have O, Y, another O, and another O. <laughs> Oh, wait, no, this one's a Q, sorry. Q, Y, and O, and O. Hmm. Oh, wait, there's another one over here, an M. So these are the letters. It might be someone around you that you know, someone or a certain thing, but those are the letters for this week. And we have, for charms, we have, ooh, a snake. So to me, snakes are kind of sneaky. When I see, when I think of a snake, I think of sneaky. I think of just watching out where you're stepping this week, you know, or watching out for somebody. So just watch where you step. And to me, this is two people holding hands, which we already talked about the relationship because we had relationships over the lovers. So I love it when we get these two cards. Well, not two cards, but when we get two things that coincide with each other. And it's just, you know, being happy together, spending time together, you know. So that's always good this week. Uh, oh, wait, we do have more letters. Boy, am I blind. R and M. So you know what I see over here? I see moon. Wait, no. There's no N. Sorry, I don't see. Oh, mom. I see mom. So focus on your mom this week, guys. So yeah. All right. And as for marbles, I told you, it's just following your path this week. So definitely. And I see this. And what do we think of when we see masks? That we're trying to either hide something or we're trying not to, you know, we're trying to not reveal who we are, you know? So I'm thinking maybe we should take our mask off this week and, you know, show our true colors. And then I see an anchor. So just watch out for this anchor because anchors to me is, well, it could be two things. It could be stabili stability, stability, because, you know, when you think of an anchor, you're trying to hold something down where it won't move anywhere. So you want to keep it stable. So it's not that bad of a thing. So this is what's going to happen this week, too. We're going to be having st stability this week. All right. Let's see. I want to pull an oracle too because I love my oracle cards and I already got them out. We got messages. I'm going to leave these out to see if it coincide with any of these. So yeah. What do you need to tell us this week oracle cards? Anything specific? All right, I'm seeing this one and this one. All right, let's put this over here. And I got emotional healing and new home. As your heart heals of old emotional pain, you receive new blessings and love. So we got to heal, which I see that. And find in our path. And then we got new home. Moving is a step in the right direction for you. So it doesn't mean exactly that you're moving or anything. It means, you know, who knows, maybe it's telling us to unhook that anchor, lift it up, and go moving somewhere. You know, somewhere else. Even if it is just for a weekend or for like a week or something. It's basically just saying, you know, try to move around a little bit. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And like I was telling you in the beginning of the 
video, don't forget to hit the bell or you're not going to get notified. Because I notice when I look at my stats and everything on here, that only like a certain percentage of you guys are not getting notified. And I think it's only like 7% that you guys are just getting notified. So there's a lot that ain't. So please hit that bell so you can get notified. And if you want to subscribe, that's good too. Be part of the family. Thank you guys. And I'll talk to you guys in a couple of days. Bye. Mwah. Keep smiling. Stay safe and have fun.